Hello everyone, my name is Ajay Kumar Agredi and I am a DevSecOps engineer at Practical DevSecOps. And today I want to talk about the topic that many of you might be facing. So to struggle to land the job. That's the main topic we are talking right now and why you are not getting hired and how you can change that is the topic. With over 10k subscribers, I want to share my experience and insights to help both experienced professionals and newcomers in the tech industry why they might not be getting hired and what they can do to improve their chances and the common reasons for not getting hired. So I will explain one by one. So these are not maybe if you don't face the same kind of uh, struggles are same with the same issues. Let's talk about the common reasons that everyone do. So the first reason is lack of relevant skills. Imagine you want to bake a cake. So I am explaining with a real time example but you don't know how to mix the ingredients. Similarly, if you apply for the tech job without the right skills, it's hard to get hired. So many candidates apply for jobs without having the necessary skills that employees are looking for. Okay. For example, if you want to work in DevSecOps, you should be familiar with tools like Docker, Kubernetes, Ansible and some other security practices you should know and some cloud security practices you have to know okay so what are the security tools that are available right now and you have to use their open source tools while you are learning okay in my organization i once interviewed a candidate who was very enthusiastic but didn't know how to use the docker and docker compose so which is the crucial tool for the containerization it's like trying to bake a cake without knowing how to use the oven, right? So if you don't know how to use the Docker, what is the main point of the containerization? So employers want to see that you have the skills to do the job efficiently and effectively. So how fast you are uh, like uh, solving the issues and they think like that. So they need the candidates who, who can solve the problems fastly in this present generation with the AI okay and the second common reason for not getting hired is poor resume and cover letter okay so you can use the resume as the main thing because some people use the poor resumes okay your resume like your report card if it's messy and doesn't show your best work employers won't be impressed right a well crafted resume and a cover letter are essential for making a good first impression. So first impression is best impression, right? That is the quote or the line that we use. So many candidates submit generic resumes that don't highlight their relevant experiences or any achievements. For instance, I received a resume that looked like a list of random jobs without any specific details about the candidates accomplishments okay so imagine if your student submitted a report without any details it wouldn't get a good grade right so tailoring your resume to the job description and showcasing your skills can make a significant difference so you have to make the resume like the, the ATS follower like you know the ATS right so everyone knows it so follow those and use most of the names i mean like the what skills you have planned and what can you do and how did you implemented those skills in your projects you have to do try to do your own project with the skills you have okay so it will make the highlight and uh, make stand in the resume section okay while employers checking your resume okay and the third common reason is lack of interview skills okay think of an interview like a game okay if you don't practice you might not know the rules during interviews it's important to communicate your thoughts clearly and confidently many candidates are technically sound but struggle to explain their thought process during the interviews i have seen the candidates who knew the answers at technical questions but couldn't articulate their reasoning okay it's like you're knowing how to play soccer but not being able to communicate with your teammates so that is the main reason 
so practicing the common interview questions and explaining your thought process and can help your perform better okay so these are the interview skills you need to know so go through the some kind of youtube videos and talk with yourself on the mirror and practice some interview questions practice some real type scenarios what you faced in the interviews and what you faced during the learning process and explain everything during that time okay so networking is the main concept that is the next reason everyone not getting hired because of that so networking is like the friends okay so the more people you know the more opportunities you have okay many job openings are filled through the referrals and connections rather than the traditional application so presently everyone is going through the their referrals someone is referring to the some guy into their company someone referring to their relatives like that right so you have to increase like uh, make your network more strong okay attending the meetups webinars and connecting with the professional on a platforms like the linkedin can open doors for you okay for example i got uh, my current job through a friend request i met at a tech conference that is the some kind of guys will tell right so but i got this job because of my youtube channel okay so it is like getting invited to a party because you know someone there okay building a network can significantly increase your chances of finding a job opportunities try to write your own blogs instead of copying from others that is the one point i can say because copying the same content from the youtuber and using in your linkedin profile doesn't make you stand out okay so the pitfalls of the copying project from the youtube so this is the main risk you are trying to use so i'm not saying about to everyone okay this is not a just like pointing to some guy or some youtuber or anyone so this is the main thing so one common mistake many job seekers make is copying projects directly from the youtube videos so i say take it as a reference and try to do with your own ways so change the tools everyone use the same tools okay like if he do if you are doing means some other guy also can do right just saying and copying things from there and pasting inside here so it will gives the answer and it will give the copy content i mean like it will give the outputs or you can just copy paste the outputs also that is also possible right right now in these scenarios we can do that so instead of copying the projects from the youtube videos try to use open sources okay while these projects can be a great starting point so the point like the point of doing the youtube videos by the uh, youtubers like devops content guys is that just we are giving the startup okay we are giving the starting point to you simply replicating them without understanding the underlying concepts won't help you land as well okay employees want to see your unique approach and problem solving skills okay what the problems you are faced during the uh, youtube video like the video project are you are doing so you have to understand that problem and you have to how did you solve it without anyone help okay it will take one day two day three days okay so you have the ai is now and so many stack overflows and you have to use those to solve the issues right so you can understand more so when you copy a project you miss out an opportunity to learn from the challenges you might face okay for example uh, if you follow a tutorial app to build a web application you might not encounter the real world issues that arise when deploying it okay employees are interested in how you tackle problems what optic what obstacles you faced and how you overcome them okay instead of just copying them take those youtube projects as a inspiration use them as the foundation and then build upon them and add your own features improve the design or integrate additional technologies this way you can demonstrate your creativity and technical skills okay so i will give you the importance of the virtual projects also and how you can use the open source projects in the upcoming videos if you want just give the comment section whatever you want i will do those videos and i don't copy those projects also i am giving the good content for you i will do the best for you in the upcoming days as well so if you have more questions on me about myself or how did i land the job who recommended me and everything 
I you can ask the questions in the comment section I will tell you the in detail way in the upcoming videos as well and next one is I have to say is the importance of the original projects and open source contributions okay so like to stand out in the job market focus on creating the original projects that showcase your skills so consider contributing to open source project which can set you apart from the other candidates okay open source contributions not only demonstrate your technical abilities but also show that you can collaborate with others and contribute a community okay so if you're doing a project from the open source you will use your own tools so own process of doing so you will get some kind of the issues how did you solve so you will learn something new from this videos okay open source means you are just okay we can just add this command okay it will do okay it won't work so you need to add some environment variables and what needs to be done and what needs to be added so where need to be added so why we are using that environment variable and you have to understand everything using that open source project in your ci cd pipeline also okay when you work on an open source project you often face real world challenges that require problem solving and critical thinking okay for instance you might encounter the bugs okay sometimes the project won't go forward because some you use the main branch or the developing branch right so you have to understand that oh it's not working so you have to go through the issues pages on that um, github or the open source it will help you really okay so and uh, by working on the unique projects that are not commonly found in the tutorials you can create a portfolio that truly reflects your abilities and capabilities and problem solving skills for example instead of just building a simple crud application consider developing a tool that automates a specific process at the address a unique problem in your field okay this will not only make your portfolio stand or uh, your resume stand out but also give you the valuable experience to discuss during your interviews okay so what you can do to improve your chances so upskill continuously so like uh, learning is a like watering a plant okay the more you water the better it grows so you have to continuously learn in the tech industries it essential to keep learning and updating your skills instead of relying solely on the specific platforms refer to blogs official documentations and tutorials available on the online so youtube is an excellent learning platform that offers wealth of the information in various topics Additionally consider listening to podcasts related to your field and exploring the official books that provide in depth knowledge okay staying updated with the latest trends in the cloud field is crucial as the technology is constantly evolving so we have to follow the best blogs can you help to understand the new tools and practices some blogs may not be understand for you but try to do them so you will get some kind of uh, issues you will try to resolve it with your yourself okay so then only you will learn so this knowledge uh, will help you in the more okay this knowledge will enable you the good problem skills okay solving skills problem solving skills before creating the ci cd pipelines for your application take the time to understand the architecture of this application okay when you trying to use the open source like using the a netflix application that you are do so why is not playing any videos that i did in this video because i didn't added any kind of three tier application that is simple front end application that we did okay so this knowledge will enable you to integrate as many tools as possible and the follow the best practice for your ci cd deployment okay employees appreciate the candidates who can demonstrate a comprehensive understanding of the entire development process that is the main thing you have to understand upskill continuously and next point is the build the best resume and build the best portfolio so like showcase your best best works you did and it's where you can demonstrate your skills create the project that showcase your abilities catch it your part apart from the other candidates okay so it's like showing your art project to your class a strong portfolio can make a significant impact during the hiring process so mock interviews practice the interviews go with the some real kind of issues uh, the more you practice the problem skills the more you test more you try to understand the concept 
more you understand the technologies more you try to do them and test them in your own servers will make you stronger and uh, gives you the solving solutions resolving the issues the better you perform mock interviews can help you to get comfortable with the interview format and improve your communication skills as well okay so set up seek a feedback so uh, feedback is like getting a coach advice okay it help you improve and grow after um, after interviews don't hesitate to ask the feedback from the interviewers this can provide a valuable information into areas where you can improve right for example after one of my interviews i learned that i needed to explain my projects better okay it's like a teacher telling you how to improve your grades constructive feedback can guide you in your job also okay at that time i did one uh, up interview where i didn't do the project that they gave like simple one but i didn't do it takes longer time to do it because i don't have the real time experience at that time. but i made it i learned it i tested it more more i did more i tested and i became the more stronger okay now i am the one of the main key player in our company okay so conclusion i am giving to you so if you have any kind of questions please ask in the comment section i will do with that in the next video to answer all of those questions to summarize if you are struggling to get ahead focus on building the relevant skills improving your resume practicing your interview skills and networking avoid the trap of copying projects from the youtubes without adding your unique touch instead of create original projects and contribute to open source initiatives to showcase your skills effectively remember getting a job is a tough but persistence is a key keep learning adapting and trying thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and share your experiences in the comments below let's support each other in this journey in my next video i will tell i will dive deeper into the specific tools and technologies that are demanding the devsecops field stay tuned and i will explain more open source also